good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v today psalm 118 verse 21 through verse 25 behold your king the occasion is one of magnificent praise a great choir is giving praise to messiah on his second coming the second advent of our lord and savior jesus christ so the scene is in jerusalem where the crowds have been gathered to celebrate the second advent of israel's messiah the, the messiah that is long awaited so here they are in the temple there is the soloist who take his stand behind his microphone then we have the choir who is assembled so when we look at verse one and a few ensure ensuing verses of psalm 118 it says the soloist would begin to sing and he would sing give thanks to the lord for he is good and the entire choir would respond his love endures forever and we will see them doing this in many of the verses but our concentration verse today is verse 21 through verse 25 so in verse 21 through 25, we will see where the soloist, he sings, and the choir gives their answer. So the soloist sings. He says, I will praise you for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The choir reply. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief corner stone. They were talking about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. This is yet unfulfilled. So we see that the Lord Jesus, he is the stone. The scripture referred to him, the stones that the builders refused. His Jewish brothers and sisters, these are the people when he came at his first advent, despised him. He was, when he came the first time, the despised Nazarene. But now on his second coming, he will be crowned with glory and honor. The rejected stone has now become stone we can see from scriptures 12 fold stone ship of the Messiah number one he is the stone of Israel Genesis 49 verse 24 number two he is the stone of stumbling in Isaiah 8 verse 14 and in the New Covenant 1 Peter 2 and verse 8. Number 3, he is the foundation stone, St. Matthew 16, 18. Number 4, he is a tried stone, Isaiah 28 and 16. Number 5, he is a precious cornerstone, 1 Peter 2 verse 4, 6 and 7. Number six, he is a sure stone, Isaiah 28 and 16. Number seven, he is a rejected stone, St. Matthew 21, verse 42. Number eight, he is the living stone, First Peter 2 and 4. Number nine, he is a chosen stone, First Peter 2 and 4. Number 10, he is the chief cornerstone, 1 Peter 2 and 6. Number 11, he is an elected or a chosen stone, 1 Peter 2, 6. And the 
headstone. First Peter 2 verse 7 and 8. So while this choir is still singing, they proclaim this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. So listen what it says. I will give you thanks for you have answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the corner stone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done this this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. So they acknowledge that it is Jehovah who has given the Lord Jesus Christ, his son, his power place in their hearts and cause them to have affection for him and he affectionately loves them also so his crowning day has come at last when we look at verse 24 he says the lord has done it this very day let us rejoice today and be glad so they were praying and they were praising Jehovah for the day, a day that they think they would have never seen. To them, it's a new day, a day of thanksgiving, a day of rejoicing. For this occasion that they think we have missed and were not expecting to see anymore. So as they continue to sing, they say, save now, I pray. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, I pray, send now prosperity. This is the verse which the people of Jerusalem quoted at the time of Christ's triumphal entry. Remember when he came that day riding on the donkey, when they waved palm branches, they cried, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So we see that the original word, Hosanna, means save now. St. Matthew 21 and verse 9. Remember that these same people who worshipped him, who glorified him, who were happy to have him. They gave him a beautiful welcome. But in a few days, the same welcome turned into execution. They crucify him. Now, however... Israel is again welcoming the Lord in the day of his power. This will be in his second coming. We have seen their sentiments. But this time, however, these sentiments will be both sincere and they will be lasting. Because they will be given one more chance by Jehovah to accept Messiah as his son and their savior. So on his first advent, he was welcome at some point, but he was totally rejected. And so the scripture says, I came to my own, but my own received me not. But to as many 
has received me to them give the power he gives the power to become the sons of God so on his first advent he was rejected and executed but this time as the psalmist says on his second advent he will be exalted as the king of kings and the lords of lords the very rejected stone they will now see that truly he is the head corner stone and they will give him worship the chosen stone the chief stone he will be praised he will be exalted he will be honored so today let us who have accepted him continue to honor him and praise him and like the soloist or the choir turn to psalm 118 and we can sing along give thanks to the lord for he is good for his love endures forever the love of god endures forever even at if at some point we have rejected him we still have another chance another opportunity to receive him god bless you thank you again for watching and may god bless the u s a